how to move to Monaco. I recently traveled to Monaco to learn about relocating to the country for foreigners. My colleague Florian Valery, a Monegask and owner of a real estate agency, will help me to find the answers to all my questions. Who can move and live in Monaco? Everybody basically can uh, move and live here. Uh, there is obviously a strict process to, um, to respect, uh, to apply for, for the residency. Uh, so the first thing is to find an accommodation that is uh, basically um, fitting your needs uh, according to your uh, um, family and also your financial uh, resources. And after, uh, you have to bring um, and to show some of your motivations to the police department, uh, as well as your criminal records and and um, you have to pass through an interview, but everybody is free to come to Monaco. How much money do I need to move to Monaco and become a resident of the Principality? It depends if you have, if you are working here uh, or if you're not working. If you are not working uh, for the last years, uh, there is a minimum that was requested uh, by the government is to have 500,000 of deposit on the bank account here in Monaco. Uh, some of the banks raised this minimum to 1 million, uh, even more for some uh, exclusive private banks. Uh, but otherwise, if you are working here in Monaco with like a steady income, uh, you don't need to have this minimum. Uh, uh, the thing is that there is obviously a natural selection that is done um, due to the price of the of the real estate because we are on such niche market with a really low supply and the price of the real estate is really expensive. How long does it usually take to apply for residency in Monaco? And can my family members become residents in Monaco with me? There is no strict rules, uh, but um, first uh, first step is to open a bank account and to provide a rental lease or a deed of ownership of a, a property here in Monaco. Um, once you have that, you will have uh, to uh, basically uh, collect all the different documents that will be requested by the police department here. And after uh, the interview, they take another usually four to eight weeks to give you an answer. So the overall process is approximately about six months. Uh, it can be less, it can be more, depending on your situation, uh, your nationality and your background. Uh, yes, the family members obviously are more than welcome uh, to join you in Monaco. You will be basically the guarantor of the whole family if you are the only person uh, that has uh, an income. Uh, and if you are also able to provide the documents that will uh, prove that the accommodation that you choose uh, is fitting your needs. Uh, so I give you a, a concrete example. If you have two kids, you cannot say that you will live in a studio. You will have to live in a two bedrooms or even a three bedrooms, depending on the age of the kids and, and other criteria. Can I be granted Monegasque citizenship and a passport? Here the transmission of the nationality is by the link of blood. Uh, so basically if you have parents that are Monegasque, uh, you will become Monegasque. Um, you can get also the nationality uh, after 20 years of, uh, of uh, wedding uh, with your spouse that will be Monegasque. Uh, and after the third option to become a Monegasque is basically to apply uh, to the Conseil de la Couronne, which is a small group that is named by the Prince uh, and that is in charge to review the different applications uh, and that will concede uh, over the year a couple of derogations, but this is really, really limited. So it's not because you're living in Monaco that you will get the, the, the citizenship after a certain number of years of residency, like in other countries. It doesn't work like this in Monaco. Can I do business in Monaco? Depending on the business, uh, there are some business that are restricted or to the national citizens, um, such as the, like the doctors, the lawyers, the architects. Um, so you, you cannot operate your own company in these sectors, uh, but you can obviously work for one of the existing um, uh, offices or, or uh, companies. Uh, after there are other um, businesses which are uh, overrepresented here in the principality and the government decided to restrict 
the, author, the number of authorizations that it will uh, grant uh, for new applications. So like real estate agency is one example, hairdresser is another example. Other than that, uh, all the other businesses are uh, basically uh, completely uh, open. Uh, it depends of an application uh, and uh, also of your diploma, your resume, uh, your experience uh, and uh, your motivation. Uh, but everybody can apply, everybody can basically have a chance to get the authorization. It just depends the nature of the business uh, that uh, you, you, you basically um, would like to uh, exercise here in the principality. Can foreigners buy or rent property in Monaco? Are there any restrictions? There are a couple of limitations because uh, the real estate sector is divided uh, basically in three branches, I will call. Uh, one branch is the, the um, reserved for the Monegasque citizens. So the government is helping his um, own community uh, to get affordable rent uh, in some of the building and apartments that they own here in the principality. And so this is reserved only to the Monegas citizens. After you have the regulated sector, uh, which was created uh, like 50 years ago to uh, give preferential conditions uh, to the, some of category of people. So for example, people that have been living all their life in Monaco, that were born in Monaco, but they are not Monegas citizens. Uh, and uh, this sector is a bit particular because to apply, you need to respect certain conditions. And other than that, you have the, the sector that is free of law, I would say, uh, and that is open for everybody uh, if it's for rent or to buy uh, and uh, everybody can basically, uh, can basically invest here in the principality even if there is no, uh, I will say, intention of living here. Uh, so we have many investors that are just determining that Monaco is the best place to uh, invest their, uh, uh, their resources and that will buy assets, uh, real estate assets, and that will be after managed and rented. Uh, and uh, obviously that uh, with the value that will increase throughout the years. Is it true that people living in Monaco do not pay taxes? Not really. Uh, first of all, everybody pays the VIT. Uh, so on every single services or products that you're buying or consuming here in the principality, we apply the same rate than the French um, fiscality uh, for the VIT, so uh, in, in majority the rate is at 20% after depending the type of products or service that uh, you are consuming, uh, you will have lower rates. After, for the companies that are working in the principality, the companies that are doing more than 25% of the turnover outside of Monaco uh, starts to get taxed um, on, the, on the profits. On, the, um, on your revenue, so if you are working and living in Monaco, except for the French, uh, you will not pay taxes on your revenue, um, but, uh, and no tax on the succession if you are in direct link, so if it's your children or your spouses. And uh, on the real estate part, there is a, a tax to pay uh, when you buy an apartment, there is a registration tax, which is uh, 4.5% uh, in general, it can be raised to 7.5% depending the way you will structurize your acquisition here in the principality. And if you are just renting apartments, there is like a 1% tax per year uh, on calculated on the overall rented plus the charges of the condominium. So we are paying taxes uh, and obviously the level of the taxes and the type of the taxes will depend on your uh, personal situation. Can I buy a car in Monaco and get local number plates? Everybody is free to buy a car in, the, in, in Monaco. Uh, regarding the place, the condition is that you have or a company that is open here in Monaco and that will own the vehicle uh, here in the principality or you have to be a resident uh, here in Monaco. So it's not because you're buying a car here in Monaco uh, that you will necessarily get the Monegasque plates. You have to be resident or, or to run your own business and that the car will be obviously um, owned by th th this company. In the following part of the interview, we will discuss in detail how foreigners can rent or buy real estate in Monaco. So, do you have any questions left on how to live and move to Monaco? 
please write in the comments. And if you want me and Florian to help you to find the best apartment in Monaco, Monte Carlo, feel free to message me on WhatsApp or Telegram. All my contacts are below. And like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you won't miss anything exciting in the future. That's it for today and I look forward to welcome you in Monaco.